Welcome back. In this video, let's take a look at the third custom data structure, which is linked list. A linked list is a linear data structure that includes a series of connected nodes. Each node consists of a data value and a pointer that points to the next node. So the order of the nodes is not given by their physical placement in memory. Instead, each node points to the next. The benefit of using a linked list over a conventional array is that the list elements can be easily inserted or removed without reallocation or reorganization of the entire structure. This is again due to the fact that items need not be stored contiguously in memory. However, a drawback is that random access of elements is not feasible and accessing an element has linear time complexity. The linked list data structure supports three main operations. Insertion to add an element at the beginning and or at a given index in the list. Deletion to remove an item given its index or value. And finally, search to find an element given its value. Here is a simple visualization of the linked list data structure. As you can see, we have a series of connected nodes. Each node consists of a data item or data value and a pointer to the next node. The very last node points at null, marking the end of the list. Now, what are some applications of linked list? Well, the linked list data structure can be used to implement stacks and queues. So all applications of both stacks and queues are applications of linked lists. A real world example can be that of an image viewer. You can look at photos continuously in a slideshow. Linked list is a really popular data structure and is asked extensively during interviews. Make sure you understand it well. All right. Now that we have an overview, in the next video, let's implement the linked list data structure in JavaScript.